The competition this week, who can eat the most meat? I haven't eaten meat in three days. I'm me crazy. I need meat. I need carne flesh. I need to drink the blood of the beast. I want meat. I want to eat meat. Meat. Kenny, <sighs> you're drooling on the furniture. I want meat. Give me meat. Since the beginning of time, mankind has been forced to compete for survival. This spirit of competition has reached a pinnacle in the relationship of two best friends who battle against each other. Why? Glory for the winner. Humiliation for the loser. This is Kenny versus Spenny. No secret, I will be eating turkey, my favorite meat. What is that? Oh! I'm gonna start with some breast. I can't believe you're gonna eat that. Is that. That's disgusting. Kenny, that is so disgusting. Ugh. He's sucking on a dead cow's tongue. Okay, uh, the crew is keeping track of the of the weight. Here's my first bite. Very good. And so it begins. <laughs> He's actually trying to gross me out, and it's working. Ugh. <laughs> I'm just gonna. Go crazy. He thinks he can beat me. He's a nothing. He's an insignificant little insect to me. He's a Girl Scout. And I'm going to gross him out so much, he's not even going to be able to eat. One of us at any time during this competition could choke. Do you guys know what to do? Do you know the Heimlich maneuver? Do you know artificial respiration? Nothing. You don't know anything. What is that? Chop lever. All right. I'm out of here. Uh. He's trying to freak me out. He's trying to make me grossed out. And I'm just going to, I'm going to block it. I don't care. Just keep eating, Spenny. Just keep eating. Don't let him get you. I think that um, chewing is very important uh, to chew this well because it's got to pass through me. If it doesn't pass through me, if I get constipated, I'm going to be in big... Here he goes. Why do you have to always interrupt me? Don't! What are you doing? Ew, what the f is that? Whatever he's trying to do, he's trying to psych me out. Did he weigh those, those sausages or whatever, the pepperonis? Yeah. Come on, you wanna compete? Let's compete. What is that, pepperoni? I'm not even dented yet. You can't keep up that pace, man. I know you can't. Like a laser, man. Turkey wings. Like a laser! I need the biggest piece of meat you got. Is that big enough for you? Joey, we'll always be together now. We'll always be together. I got like over half a turkey left and I don't feel good. I need to go to my doctor and figure out something here. I, this is not what I expected. I'm having trouble swallowing the food at this point. Field. What, what kind of meat should I eat to win this competition? No, I can sell silly peanuts. What is with people eating like tiger penis or rhino horn? Oh, they think uh, similarity. You know, a tiger has got a power. 
You know what I mean? They want to get that some power. I'll bring right over. And that is a seal penis? Yes. Yes, some people believe a seal penis has got strong in it. Do you want me to eat that? Seal penis is expensive, though. How much? $5,000 for one penis. Well, what do you think? What do you think I could get for my penis? I don't know. A million dollars. Maybe more. I think so. It's a very famous penis, Goldfield. This usually is delicious for me. A turkey leg? Yummy. Right, right now. Right now. It's taking sheer discipline just to chew it and swallow it. Oh. Suck, man. Wonder what Kenny's doing. Seeing as Benny's not here, no reason to gross him out now. It's about eating delicious meat. This is the big 48 ounce rib steak. All grilled up nicely, medium rare. Because I'm in a competition. Nonsense. Nonsense? Nonsense. I haven't gone to the bathroom yet, right? Well, the best thing is to go really natural and try and get like a fiber cereal if you were able to have things other than the meat. But it would be nice to bring in some exercise, some rest into your day. with me, Spencer Nolan Rice. I'm a meat-eating machine. I'm a meat factory. And you are nothing. I'm your best friend. I'm your best friend. Does your best friend beat you with a wire? Well, now he feels bad. Maybe he won't eat as much. <laughs> oh. I can't even look at that. I'm gonna do what the doctor said and do uh, 
Prune juice and psyllium. Psyllium is like, totally makes you poop. I have to have a bowel movement. I can't just keep putting in food and it doesn't come out. That's not good. The other problem is I can't eat turkey. There's no way I can eat turkey. I need a plan B. And I think I know what, what I'm gonna do. Oh. This is Cowschwitz, dude. Thanksgiving. Do you smell that? Dude, check the door. Holy I don't even smell that. It just smells like turkey with none of the fixings. Unbelievable. The good news is the psyllium and the prune juice, it's all flowing through me. I'm not as bloated. I feel like I can actually eat some more and win this competition. Kenny says that they make the best soil trips in North America. I walked all day on it. Now you don't want to eat it? If I want to eat it, I just, I'm totally full. Okay, I'm gonna try and eat it. Mm, good. I can't eat turkey anymore. I need to eat food that's at least tastes good. I'm a horrible cook. Yeah, you're looking a bit green, bro. I'm not good. Now, how much does that weigh? Listen, you're, you're looking at about, you're about a pound a piece here. So you've got about four pounds of steak. Finish the piece, put another one in. Don't stop the cycle, just keep eating. As soon as you stop, you're gonna to wanna to digest, okay? Look at, that's one down already, look at that. This is it, man. This, you're the lion, you're the lion. This is your fresh kill, okay? Just eat, lion. Lion. I don't know if I can eat it. Can't eat a piece. Mom. Oh. Mom, is there any dessert? He never oh. said anything about puking. Not in the rules. This is an eating competition. It's okay, man. Get it in. Oh. The carnivore machine. Eat standing up, piece after piece, and put it down. You can do it. Thank Thanks, you, man. Let's go. Let me find puke. Go, oh, Jamie. Oh my god. Am I gonna have horns? Call and see if Spenny quit. I didn't think it should be this hard. <sighs> It's all about weight. When we were kids, I could always eat more than him. When we got older and he became crazy, he used to beat me at the all-you-can-eat buffets. But this is a whole other story now. Have me another bag for me. I got 
poisoned. do this. I have to do it. I don't know how Kenny's doing. Ugh. You okay? Just get up. I know. That's it until it's over. I know, but I honestly I didn't need something right. chosen uh, for this particular humiliation a classic in my opinion and I'm very excited about it uh, Kenny uh, for losing the competition will have to make out with an old lady what's your name my name yeah what do you want to call me call me darling candy no darling darling have you been on a date recently not with somebody like you do you want to kiss me Yes, I have to. <laughs> Let's go, kids. Those are nice teeth. Those dentures. Tell your business. So why don't you two kids get to it? Let me see. Oh, look at his eyes. You got beautiful eyes. Thank you. Can I kiss your lips? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I guess you got it. Nice. Oh, come on. <laughs> come on. That was fun. I haven't kissed a boy like you. Since I was 22. They had boys back then? Come on, lovers. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> well, almost there. It's good. It was nice. I liked it. But when I kiss a girl, sometimes we get our tongues, you know, we mash. It's called the French kiss. You know, 
a summer day in the park, two lovers sit on a bench, sharing with themselves the intimate moments <laughs> that make this city such a great place. What time do you do back at the home? Which home? The... I have my own home, excuse me. Oh, do you? Me. 